Hey everyone, um, believe it or not, I just got a third message from the Lord. Um, he does want me to say that I am a part of the 12 ordained that he has um, chosen for this time. And if you're interested in more about what that means and what that is, um, you can go to Mandy's page at Seek Heavenly Things and she she talks about the 12. Because um, this is all new to me and um, I just started receiving prophecy. Um, but the message that he just gave to me, um, it is still 929 23 and this message he gave to me was at 11 45 p.m eastern time uh, i felt like he was trying to speak so i said lord do you have a message for me and he said yes daughter i am calling my people home i told you the trumpets will sound no more delay the enemy has twisted and mocked and accused and i am done prepare to meet thy god O israel i am your redeemer your rescuer your lord god and i have spoken and the scriptures he gave me are um, Psalm 12, 3. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Hebrews 4, 5. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Genesis 1, 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Colossians 3, 5. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. Sorry, I had to ask how to say that. Uh, evil concupiscence and covetousness, which is idolatry. Deuteronomy 5, 17. Thou shalt not kill. <clears throat> Esther 1, 4. When he showed the riches of his glorious kingdom and the honor of his excellent majesty many days, even in hundred and fourscore days. Job 2, 3. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? And still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. Psalm 5, 3 through 8. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor, will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. We are all feeling this urgency right now. We know the Lord is coming back soon. Please put your faith in Jesus Christ this moment. Uh, repent from the law. Stop trying to work your way to to heaven. You cannot earn it. Um, salvation is, is a completely free gift for all who believe on him. Trust that he paid the price for you in full. He completed everything that you need to go to heaven and be with him forever. All you have to do is just trust in him and believe that he paid it all for you. I love you and I'll see you soon.